So well down the line now, we're one year into the actual uh, build itself and we're looking to take control of phase one, which is the building behind me, which is the main main building. We're looking to do that later on this year, which, which is great news. We're very happy with the progress on site at the moment. Uh, and as you can see, all the, all the roofs on, okay, windows are in, electrics are in, kitchens have gone in. We're well down, down the road now, which, which is pleasing to, uh, to see. Um, also, we're just waiting now to, to, to fit it out, which we're very excited about because we're involved the residents with the actual fit out and the designs we've got an, uh, an interior designer on board as well so we're very excited to see how, how the uh, the residents view that when they first go in the building. The Swanson the local community has been very very supportive we obviously in the early stages we had a lot of challenges because this was new and cramming it into such a small area you can imagine with planning and, and, and such like but they've really been so supportive and on board. It's uh, primarily aimed at over 55s uh, people are looking to downsize in the village which will uh, ease the burden on family homes at the moment throughout the York area. Uh, we also have um, uh, independent living uh, apartments here, both one and two bedrooms. But we've also got uh, a residential care element of 45 single bedroomed um, um, care suites which uh, have 24-7 uh, around the clock support. Uh, there is a big uh, strain on family homes and, and releasing those uh, within the York area as such. And we really want people um, to, of all ages, that's the main sort of uh, strap line uh, within New Year's Week. We want people to uh, grow up here, okay, and, and live throughout the ages and mix as well within the community. So it's really, really important to do it here. And that's always been based around the folk uh, over the past hundred years.